I got a lot of requests to review Havoc OS which I previously taught you how to install on your OnePlus 70 device. So I used it as my daily driver for more than 10 days and figured out some of the pros and cons of this ROM. And I am finally ready to put it in front of you. So now it's up to you to decide if you can use it as your daily driver or not. So my name is Rohit and you are watching Snaptech so let's get started. So I'll start with the pros, first one is stock experience. As this room is based on stock android room so it give you the feel of that pure stock android experience and easy to use interface. So the second pro is there's a lot of customization option with this room to choose from. You can choose change the color, icon pack, status bar icon and much more and overhaul your whole device experience. Third pro is that it got a really good battery performance just like the one you expect from a stock ROM. You can charge it once and use it like your stock Android and expect it to work just fine. So the fourth pro is amazing gaming performance. So I have been gaming on this ROM and I am happy to say that it runs smooth like butter. I tried PUBG Mobile on Mac settings and everything works perfectly fine with little heating on device and it's interesting to see it works so perfectly without additional tweaks or kernel. So fifth pro is internal audio screen recording. There are a lot of people who are concerned with the recording of the screen with internal audio and they suffer as many software out there don't allow that but this room just resolved that issue like a charm. I recorded PUBG in Mac settings and it was really good the overall audio and video quality was top notch so I'll play that clip now. So the sixth pro is all banking app works. So many people are concerned whether their online banking apps such as Google Pay, Phone Pay and other banking application will work or not. So I would like to give a good news that this room allows the usage of all kind of banking and payments apps without any issue. So 7 pro is quite basic but I didn't found it working in a pixel experience room I installed earlier. So volume rocker above your power button also works like a charm which was not the case with pixel experience based on android 10 as being a stock user for long i have been using those quite a lot and it makes life really really easier so the 8 pro is that it gives you the option for edge notification light which was a feature in oxygen os 11 and it can be customized according to your liking and you can even customize it yourself for different apps so here we talked about some of the pros of the ROM so now let's move to the cons but before that if you are still watching this video a like and sub will be highly appreciated. So the first con is WhatsApp call. Like I suppose every one of us use WhatsApp a lot and if you are using this ROM you might face some issues such as during audio call you can't hear the voice of other person and sometimes during video call the screen goes full black and you will need to disconnect and connect it again. So the second con is this room has really bad network range. Whether you are on your Wi-Fi or mobile data, the internet and calling gets really messed up and even sometimes your Wi-Fi disconnect all of a sudden even if you are in range. So the third con is OnePlus camera crash. So if you are a fan of stock OnePlus camera, there is a good news that you get it in this room. But the drawback is you can just use it as one single camera and you can't record video, switch to macro, portrait, wide angle or pro mode as if you do so your camera will crash automatically. But there is a substitute camera called Ultra CVM which I have been using with this ROM and it's really amazing with some great features. If you want I can make a separate video on it. So the third issue is always on display mode. I added this feature in pro sections till yesterday as many of you wanted this for so long but yesterday I kept it enabled and slept and when I got up my phone was hot like fire and it drank all of that juice and I was just left with 1% charge so I want advice to use it even if you decide to install this ROM 
for your own safety as it's not properly optimized for this device. So the fourth and last con is Bluetooth headset issue. I am using OnePlus Bullet Wireless Z and sometimes when I connect it to my device on this room, the volume gets pretty low, almost to none and I can't really hear anything so to resolve it you have to disconnect and connect it again. So this is it what I found while using this room as my daily driver so if you are using it and found something more please let me know in the comment section below as it, I would love to know that and it will be helpful for others as well. So that's it for this video I will meet you in the next one. Neptech signing out.